joined by Aidan Morgan here of AM Hurley. He's, of course, sponsors of the Hurling Championship with us here in Monaghan. And, and Aidan, more than delighted to stand on again. It, it's, it's a competition that's close to your heart. Absolutely, Sean. And I, I was delighted. And we have a new chairman in this year in Declan. And when he said to me, am I on board again? I had no hesitation. And absolutely. And uh, I had to do a small wee bit of a report for Mary McEnany for the programme. And uh, the sponsors, from the award from the sponsor. And like I said in that, my day-to-day works hurling. In my spare time, it's Horland, so why not? <laughs> <laughs> why not be involved in it is right. Yeah, a little bit about the business, those that's not familiar with it. You make hurleys. We make them, yeah. It's strange, and I hear it. This old cliche that always comes back to me is a hurley maker in Monaghan, yeah. which is unfamiliar, yeah, and I understand that. But look, at we, the business is flying. From I spoke to you last year, everything's expanded again, and we're hoping to grow further. And hurleys has gone all over the world at the minute, and... Look at it at the start, it was fixing a few for boys in Monaghan, making an odd one for a fellow in Monaghan to be supplying hurls throughout Ireland now and all over the world is fantastic. And, and it comes down because, and when I talked to you before about this, there's a personality with the hurl that's attached to the player. They get to know the person that's making the hurl. They can talk to you and discuss Absolutely. with you and ask what they want because no one hurl is the same as another. Like Just for an example, I had a guy from Warren Point was up at me the other night. He was a clear lad and... He, I'd say he touched every senior hurl that was in the shop and he wasn't sure and he kept coming back and, and that's the same with every player look at these guys have to be com- comfortable with the hurley when they're playing and look at somebody comes in and they, they want it modified a wee bit I don't hesitate I know what it's like and, and what the player needs or wants and I'm quite happy to do that for anybody that's taking a hurl and I know you'll not be looking in hoping maybe a hurl or two's broke that'll keep you in business because you have a, you have an attachment to all these hurls. You don't like to see the damage being done. Ah, no, you definitely don't. And it, the satisfaction for me is when a guy maybe comes back in 12 months' time and a hurley's cracked and, and he's looking at fixed. You know, for, from a hurley maker's point of view, it's not a satisfying part of the job when somebody comes back in a shorter time frame with a cracked hurley. You, you'd like, you know, when you're making that hurl and you do put your time and effort into it and you're looking for, it's fantastic to come down maybe on Sunday and some of the guys playing with your, with your hurls, you know, and it, it, that's so satisfying. Like, you know, and it, I know Armagh Camogues are playing in the All-Ireland final and there's quite a few of the girls play with my sticks, you know, and even seeing your sticks in Crow Park and that, it's, it's hugely satisfying and look at, we'll keep going at it.